probably one of the coolest things I've seen along on his shoulder was a wallet in Louisiana, right outside of Walker. And I drove over and I thought, wow, was that what I thought it was? So I stopped and got out, walked back. Sure enough, it was a wallet laying there. And uh, I opened this thing up. You wouldn't believe how many thousands of dollars was in this thing. There was signed checks in this, credit cards, and this thing was just laying on a shoulder on Interstate 12. And I was just right outside of Baton Rouge. I was like, wow, this is crazy. And uh, so anyway, this is one of the stories. I'll just give you this story real quick. So I looked at the address on this thing. I thought, okay, I'm going to surprise this guy. Okay, he lived about 14 miles, roughly, from where I found his wallet. Okay, for me, that's a two-hour drive one way. <laughs> so anyway, I went there. I knock on the door. This lady answers the door. And uh, she says, may I help you? And I said, yes, I'm here to uh, return so-and-so's wallet. I said, is he here? Well, no, he doesn't live here anymore. I'm his ex-wife. <laughs> I'm like, no, don't even tell me this. <laughs> I said, do you have any idea how I could get a hold of this guy? <laughs> so she put me in contact with him, and he met me at the motel. And uh, the guy told me something, and I will never forget this in my entire life. He said, you know what? He said, you have restored my faith in humanity. That touched me. I carry that in my wallet to this day, that line that he told me. Because he said, you know, he said, they don't make people like you anymore. He said, it's amazing. You could have took this money and threw the wallet off and just kept on driving. But this is some of the stuff you find on the shoulder. Now, I had a question for this guy. How did that wallet get there out in the middle of nowhere? I mean, we're four miles from the closest exit. I wanted to know how this wallet got there with all your stuff in it. And this guy owned a construction company in Baton Rouge. That's why he had so much money and so many cards and all these checks in there for his employees that were signed. And uh, so he told me, he said, well, he said, I couldn't get to that exit. I had to go to the bathroom. He said, I took the wallet out of my pocket and stuck it in my lap because it was so thick, it hurt to sit on it. He said, when I got out, apparently it hit the ground. I ran around, went up in the trees, came back. He said, apparently I must have kicked it when I went to get in and it went underneath the truck. He said, I never could figure out where that went. He said, that was a week ago, a week earlier than I found it. It laid on that shoulder for a solid week and nobody ever seen it. That's what I was saying about the debris and the stuff on the sides of the road. And we're on an interstate, Interstate 12. Nice big wide shoulders, and people could not see this wallet laying there. But that was one of the stories and some of the stuff that you see on the sides of the road. I mean, it's pretty incredible.